All right, everybody. We are trying this video thing again. And it's gonna be really interesting because I don't actually think I've seen any videos like this before. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be focusing on my 10 favorite Halloween plates. I've got some big ones and I've got some small ones. Now I have some guidelines um, because I have more than 40 Halloween plates and it was really hard to narrow it down. Um, I totally forgot to tell you, this is Raza Blade. Um, I go by Raza, I go by Blade, I go by whatever the hell you want to call me. Um, I go by that girl who had to change her entire setup because her tripod fell over and over and over and over and over again last time. So, this is fun. Now, um, what I'm going to do is there are some plates that I have already done manicures from. Um, and since I have um, an autoimmune issue that does allows me not to wear nifty nails. Um, I have some of these nails here to show you. So I'm going to do those first and I'm going to tell you which is my favorite plate in each collection. Okay. So th this one I'm going to go first because this is, um, by no nerd girl nails, um, on Etsy. Um, she's got Elvish. She's got, you shall not pass. She's got Gandalf. Um, she's got everybody on their trek. She's got the, um, elven tree. She's got, um, the love symbol. She's got the ring. I, it's, it's the most exquisite plate. And I, I have to say that I feel very honored to own it. Um, anyway, so it says nerd nails seven, if you were interested in buying it and I would do it quick because, um, my understanding is that she's running out. I could be wrong but um, I would do it quick. All right, so, and the reason I showed you that one is because I made some witch nails with the most beautiful Elvish writing down them. And I'm on Instagram at Reza underscore blade, um, and you can see these, these are there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these away because we've already seen these, seed these. <laughs> They're gonna grow. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna grow. All right, so we've already looked at that one. So I'm gonna go ahead. Um, the Mezzer Du is one of my new favorite brands of plates and they are on AliExpress only. Um, and I have made some manicures that are my favorite uh, with, with them. So, um, here is, here is the Mezzerdu, uh, B18. And I'm going to actually just go ahead like this. Oops. That is very bright. Whoa, I'm doing it again. I'm just a failure. Kind of what I am. We got the dark mark. Uh, we got the really awesome cemetery gates. We got some fabulous slasher images. That's what I did for my slasher nails. We have uh, crucifixion. Um, interestingly enough, uh, we have bats, and that is beautiful. So um, I really recommend this plate. I don't know. I don't recall if it comes in a set. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have, I don't know if anybody's seen Water Babies from like when we were really little, but this image here reminds me of the shark who, come on, 
Autofocus. That's what you do, right? There we go. It's the shark from Water Babies. Anyway, so I have shown you that one too. Uh, I'm, I might add that these are in no particular order. I'm just doing, for convenience, I'm doing the ones that I've already done uh, manicures for, so I don't have to uh, stamp them. Uh, so this one, this image is in a manicure. It's my Rusalka manicure. I did that just recently. You'll find that on my Instagram. I colored it in with blue glitter. Um, these teeth are right here. And I love them. And they are upside down. So here we go. Okay. Can you please autofocus? Because it would really make me happy. The joy that would be in my soul. If you would just... Ah, there. That's good enough. I'm satisfied. Alright. So, and then we also have... Where's the other one for this particular Manny? This, this Manny I call Just One Bite. And this features one of the new Sinful um, Colors Halloween polishes. And then he, his face is filled with glow-in-the-dark paint. And if I put him under my lights for a few minutes and I cover my nails, then I get his face to glow and it's very fun. So there's that. I'm really sorry if I keep making you dizzy. I'm really having a, trouble, a hard time figuring this out. Um, there, it's just, it's just a fragile setup is all I'm going to say. All right. So here's the actual plate that that was taken from. So we've got these guys. We've got these vampires. We've got a succubus. Everybody knows what a succubus is. Uh, they take the uh, air out of bus tires. That's, uh, that's what they do. Um, we have a... Tell me if, if this does not look like a skull with glasses on. I, I have no idea what's, this, what the, what's going on here. Uh, we have a ghost pirate. Uh, we have some motorcycle people who are about to die. Um, or be heroes, uh, depending on your outlook. Okay, and this is the one I was waiting for. This is the ghosty. And the ghosty is right here. So here's my ghosty. He is cute. <laughs> He's cute. And he's my friend. And I have one more of him out. He's the ghosty. He kind of reminds me of a, a cross between Casper and Lydia with the sheet over her head. No, not Lydia. Oh, and Beetlejuice. Who put the sheet over her head? Oh, well, you guys will know because you're my friends. My friends all know those things. So then we've got a couple of other um, skeleton things. I have not swatched that, I have to be honest. Um, this looks like kind of a Grateful Dead skeleton. I have no interest in swatching that, so it's not going to happen on my channel. Nope. Absolutely not. Oh, by the way, uh, C02 Mesardew. And I know for a fact that that one comes in a set for about $15 for 10. And I, I recommend buying it wholeheartedly because I love it. So those slasher images that I showed you earlier on that B plate from Lizardoo, um, that slasher manicure is on my Instagram. And I wanted to show you, um, there is one image that's not on the, uh, the Mesodu plate. This is from that new BP 
round detective plate. I just happened to stamp it red and hook it up to some blood and it looks pretty flippin' awesome. Or, or so I say. Okay, you're right, I say. All right, um, so the other things that I have, um, shoot. Okay, make your mark four. Everybody knows make your mark four. I did these um, out of Make Your Mark Four. I did not count that as a Halloween plate, but I thought you might want to see the actual plates. Um, I have some, everybody's got bats. It, it's, it's, it's as though all of the, all of the uh, plates have, have bats of some sort. So I had a gradient and I had bats and uh, you're welcome to uh, share that Manny as well. Um, I like this one because it gets so dark toward the bottom. Um, and that's, of course, still make your mark four. I love that plate so much. I'd like make your mark three better, but it's sold out and I'm broke, so it's not going to happen. All right. So the other thing that I have... Let me try to get rid of some things. Okay, now we're gonna do one of the tiny ones. And when I say tiny, I really don't mean tiny. Cause I'm being, I'm exaggerating. All right. Come on guys. This is all fun and games until things happen. Okay. Well, it's entirely possible that I did not put it in in my favorites because it wasn't one of my exact favorites. But Winstonia has a three plate set, uh Hollow Scream, Hollow Something, and Hollow Something Else. And um this particular image is on the hollow scream plate. Uh, it is really, really cute. I warn you, the lines are very fine. This particular one took me eight tries to get on to the plate perfectly and onto the stamp perfectly. Nail, the word is nail, Reza. Okay, um, so, but again with the fangs so we we've got some trends here um i really like these spiders i i like the idea of white spiders all over something it, it, it's very creepy very creepy all right so and this one is hollow scream and did you want me to swatch one of these um i did bring some paper um the paper allows me to make bigger swatches and bigger swatches are better swatches. So say I. So, um, those are hands. Hands aren't very interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, which is, which is nonsense in this tree, which is nonsense in the tree. Oh my God. Could we possibly not knock this over anymore tonight? Okay. I really hope this is more entertaining than last time. I know I was very frustrated last time. Also, I forgot to grab a stamper before anything happened. All right. So that is that. I'm going to move this up so that you can see it. Aren't they cute? They are so cute. Just very cute. Okay. Well, I clearly figured out Zoom just now. So the learning curve continues. I can't believe. I can't believe I just almost finished my second video without knowing Zoom. Okay, so we're going to have that going on, um, and that is from Hollow Scream. Um, I don't need to wipe this off, but I will anyway, 
because I love lint rollers. They're my life. Right. So we're going to get rid of this. And now the other image that I was really excited to swatch from this one was this the one. It's a tree with a moon, and it would really be great reverse stamped. Um, I don't know. Because these lines are so thin, I don't know if that's my scraping fault, which it could very well be, or it's just going to be a pain in the butt. So, um, if you buy it, you shall discover yourself whether it's the scraping or if it's a pain in the butt. Anyway, so that is that plate, and there are uh, lots of images on it. I'm a big fan, and I'm going to put that over there. Um, okay, so I don't think I'm going to swatch this one because this isn't specifically a, a Halloween plate. Uh, but I did count it among my, um, although this one I do have a swatch of. It was in my, um, ghost damask, uh, Manny, and that is on Instagram. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that uh, this is a, for anybody who loves Halloween, this is a really wonderful plate that, for sugar bubbles. Uh, we've got some, we've got some skulls images. We've got, um, I don't, I don't know exactly what to call that. Um, we've got a gruesome family. We've got Elvira, and I really wish we had more cleavage in this particular uh, image. Uh, Morticia. We've got Wednesday. I love that she has. Hey, I hate everything. I would. I would. <laughs> I want that T-shirt. Okay. Um, we've got some jack o' lantern or emoji designs there. I cannot, you know, if, if somebody can comment below, um, I cannot figure out what the heck that is. I, it looks like a moon with the sleeping cap on, but it's an ugly moon and it's an ugly sleeping cap. So I have no idea what's going on there. This is actually a very, did I just talk about something that I wasn't, <laughs> this is what I was talking about. And this is a pretty cool stamp. Um, we've also got um, a homunculus. We've got um, some other stuff too. So I really, I really do recommend this plate. Um, I've had a lot of fun with it since I got it in our group buy. Um, let's see what else I have for use. Okay. So this is really one of my favorites, and it was also one of the cheapest because it's from AliExpress. And this is HK, hold on. There we go. This is HK11, okay. And we have, um, there have been a lot of reviews on this one, so I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Um, we've got pennants, we've got spooky houses or spooky churches. We've got balloons with delightful little pumpkin faces on them. We've got an owl that I adore. I love owls. Um, owls and unicorns. I know, I know. I was so frustrated when everybody jumped on the bandwagon with unicorns. I was like, I've liked unicorns since I was two. Stop it. Um, this Halloween image here, this is pretty flipping cute. Um, but I have to tell you that the reason I ordered this particular plate was this uh, cat argyle. Um, let me see if I can. There we go. This is so cute. And I love it so much. Um, I had ordered it before in an acrylic and it didn't stamp 
at all. And I w and I wept and I cried, and I and I threw hysterics and I threw a drama hand over my forehead. Not really. And and it was it was okay because um, I, I ordered it in stainless steel and now it works. So we have some other things. We've got this really really cute. Um, uh, a tree which if you asked him I think he would assure you that he is not an ant because he is not big enough to be an ant um, I don't like the um, cobwebs that like break off I like them to be whole cobwebs so I, d I haven't used that cobweb yet um, and this cobweb is too geometry class for me so I haven't used that one either I've used this bat. I love this bat. Um, and I used this stamp on my boyfriend's butt. No, I'm kidding. That was, that was a joke. Okay. Anyway, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back. This is going longer than I expected, so I'm going to rush through these ones that I haven't swatched. Um, let me show you the these that I have. Okay, so um, we've got this um, Murder Red Rum from The Shining. Um, I wanted to show you how cool these witch nails are and that that da dagger image has more than one purpose and that those um, blood images and those bloody hands images have more than one purpose. This axe head is not the right axe head. I know you guys know that. But it's from a World of Warcraft plate that I got off of um, AliExpress. And it's the first chance I've actually had to use that plate. So, hell yeah, I was going to use it. Anyway, so this one is from a plate I wanted to talk about to you about um, the happily never after um, I love those plates I love them with all my heart um, to me they are not specifically Halloween plates um, they are fairy tale plates dark fairy tale plates my very favorite kind of dark fairy tale plates um, they call to my gothic soul um, but I, I can't in good conscience include them in my 15 favorite uh, uh, Halloween plates. Um, so I just wanted to show you this particular one and see if I can zoom in without killing everything in the world. There we go, boom! Now let's unkill things. Okay. All right. Um. So the reason that I brought this is because this is from a gothic plate, these white, that white image there. And the reason that I brought up the gothic, the Moyu gothic collection, is that they are always appropriate for Halloween, but that is not their primary um, design. Um, they are for people like me who always want to wear gothic things every day, like this little shirt that is all the yes there see that's every day anyway so um i'm trying to i'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible um i had a measure do plate that i showed you and um this particular measure do plate was from the b collection and I made this manicure out of it. This manicure is on my Instagram. I am very happy with it. Here's the bats part. Um, and I'm going to put that away now that I've shown it to you. Um, I like this better than swatching, to be frank. Okay, so this is um, good old Freddy. Um, we have a dark red... And we have a uh, brighter green for his sweater. Um, I studied the colors a lot. There were a lot of different colors. Um, I couldn't 
I couldn't uh, make up my mind, so I just went with the stuff that stamped best. So anyway, um, this is um, from the Gothic. I don't need to show you that. That's from the Gothic, but I do need to show you that because that is neon. I put some neon powder in there and they glow in the dark. I can't show you right now because it's, it's in the middle of a video and it's 25 minutes long, which is ridiculous. So, um, these are plain nails, uh, that are great for Halloween. Um, here are the remainder of my, um, skull, uh, skull, um, There is a word, skull damask. And when we find that plate, I will tell you, hey, this is the skull damask. All right, so most of this stuff is going back. I did a contrast nail for the, um, for the slasher Manny, because every slasher Manny needs a, a contrast nail. Um, I'm not necessarily gonna show you too much of this, um, this was actually a pain in the butt. Um, this was a uh, Skulls and Roses frame mani. Um, I kind of liked it, but not... I didn't like it for as hard as it was. It was really annoying. Anyway, so now we're going to start swatching some things. And we're going to be done. Um, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut off this video um, now that we are done with what I already have pre-swatched and then I'm going to re-record um, the ones that I haven't swatched yet and that will help you. So this is the end of part one and um, part two is coming up.